On lesson 25, <clears throat> example 1a, we are asked to do an addition problem of these two rational expressions. And we see that there is not a common denominator at this point. So we would like to find a common denominator or make each of these rational expressions have the same denominator. And it's kind of nice on this problem because the denominators are just integers. So I can see that the least common multiple between four and five is 20. So I would like to make the denominators of these two rational expressions equal to 20. I can do that here by multiplying by five. And if I multiply the bottom of this expression by five, I have to multiply the top by five. So that's what I'm doing here. Really, I'm just multiplying this first rational expression by one. Five divided by five is just one, which I, I can do because now the next rational expression, I would like also to have a denominator of 20. So I will multiply this rational expression by four divided by four. And when I do that product on the bottom, I get 20 and I also have to multiply the top by four as well. So the next step is to actually follow through with this multiplication. Um, I will multiply this five by everything in the parentheses there, five A plus five, five B. And on the bottom I get 20. And to that I'm going to add this product, which gives me eight A minus four B divided by 20. Now, because I have a common denominator, I can add the tops and I get 5a plus 5b plus 8a minus 4b, all divided by 20. There, I did my fraction addition and I've got a single rational expression now. <clears throat> and the last thing I can do is combine like terms uh, on the top. 5a and 8a together make 13a. And a 5b minus 4b, that leaves me with just a single positive b. And that is the sum of these two rational expressions.